Bass Pro Shops One Source. Brought to you by Global Outfitters Outdoor University. Hello, I'm Jim Martin with this segment of Call of the Wild. I'm down here at Union Springs, Alabama at Great Southern Outdoors Plantation. I'm here with my big buddy Steve Long, and Steve is my turkey hunting guide for this week. And we're going to talk about what are you taking the turkey woods? I get this question all the time, you know, what do you have to have when you go in the turkey woods? So we're going to pick our little pockets here and see what we got and tell everybody what we have and why we have it and, you know, why you need to have it in the turkey woods. Absolutely, so absolutely. Just, just pull out some. Well, wait, you, you know, know wait, you got a vest. Got, got a turkey, turkey vest, vest with the vest. with the back on it, with the uh, fold down cushion, so, so I have it, a, I'm a comfortable. Pad and it helps have a back pad too, doesn't it? Absolutely, get these absolutely. Trees. Um, of course, I got my gloves and I got my head net usually. Mm, right. And then, uh, well, look at here, Jim. I got wet wipes. <laughs> now, what are you using you, for? Well, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> wet wipes are a good thing to have. Uh, right. Nature might call That's while right. you're in nature. Off Absolutely. mosquito spray. Carry plenty of off, especially in Alabama oh, uh, during this time of the year. I got a uh, Woodhaven owl call. This is a real soft call. It's not loud. It's just... Hello. And you hear it, it's echoing through the woods out there. All right, what else so, you got in there? Let's see, those pockets, I got that pocket there empty. Of course, in here in my vest, I've got my, my turkey calls. Right. Just, how, many, now how many mouth calls? I, I've you got mean? two mouth calls. Two mouth? Okay. i got two mouth calls. Right here, I've got a slate call. Okay. i got a straight creek slate, slate call. And I like to use that, especially towards the oh, end yeah. of the season. Uh, Hawk call. Hawk call. I okay, enjoy. Now hawk call is for locating. That's right. Just that's like right. a crow or owl. More mosquito spray, because we are in Alabama. That's right. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a little one, and that's nice because you know yeah. we were set up on a turkey this morning, and of course I had the thermocell. I keep a thermocell on me, but um, but they they were still flying around, and so it's it's a little quick spray, and it doesn't make a lot of noise, and it's really quick. That's right. Yeah, that's so right. That's and so thing. you're exactly right. It's not big and bulky, and right. so you can just squirt yourself a couple of times with right. it. Uh, there, I've got my crow call. Let's see. Uh, of course, I got a peg in there for my slate. Right. And in the back pocket, of course, you and I. Well, here's a stake for a decoy. All right. <laughs> and look at here. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> That's right. Nothing like a fly down. Nothing like a flapper. Now, I put a, I put a string on me because I've left about, I don't know how many in the woods. There's That's right. There's a bunch of my flappers in the woods. Well, they're good to have. Oh, yeah, Somebody that picked that up was a, is a lucky individual. Well, I tell you what, well, we use it for, use it for scratching the leaves. It's good for that. Fly down. Of course, when you do a fly down. And also, what I do, I like to use this um, in the morning if it's real still. I'll, I'll use this to to preen. It sounds like preening. Sometimes hens will preen on a limb when she's on the roost before she comes down. And I've watched her that, and they let their wings out, and their tip of their wings hit the hit the branch of the tree. And it's, you know, it's anything to sound like a realistic sound of what a turkey's doing. I'll tell you what else it'll sound like. It'll sound like a turkey strutting. You get yeah, that wing right. dragging, and you sort of carry it along, going. That's right. That's right. Now, now, what kind of gun do you use? Okay, I use a Winchester 1300, which I don't think they make them anymore. Gauge, it's a 12 gauge, gauge okay. and it shoots three inch shells. You know, nowadays right. they have the three and a half inch, but I'm comfortable with the three inch. Absolutely. Well, whatever works. That's right. right. Killed a lot of turkeys yeah, with I it. Kill, I, I shoot a 12 gauge, two, three inch Magnum, same thing. That's mm -hmm. kind of the preference. Well, it's not. It's not too big to carry in the woods, but it's powerful enough to knock them down. It's got some good reaching power. Well, what I like about the Winchester, it's a 24 inch barrel. It's a yeah. full choke. Uh, it's lightweight, and you know I can just tote it and go. I don't right. use a, a a strap. I don't use a strap with it. Yeah. I just I put it on my shoulder and I go. Well, you know we talked about that too, and, and I, I don't really like my strap with a gun either. Uh, you know it is easier to carry and tote. You know especially when we're prospecting, nothing's gobbling. But I tell you, when you're going to set up and you're moving around on a turkey, that strap sometimes will get in the way. But anyway, well thanks, Steve. I appreciate. Man, it. we appreciate it. We're glad you came down Man, to Great I Southern had a Outdoors. Great time. Great time.